Yat A, Candice Duvall. Class G, Nenshre, Chikasa Dine, Bashashin. Tat Naz Ne, Mim, Dashache, Chikasa Dine, Dashanele. Hello, my name is Candice Duvall. Please join me on our virtual tour of our facility. This presentation will be an overview of the Dr. Taylor McKenzie School Based Health Center located at Navajo Prep. Hello and welcome future Eagles and family. I'm very excited to begin our journey of Navajo Prep School Based Health Center. Navajo Prep is dedicated to serve your students by promoting optimal health for academic performance. Again, my name is Candace Duvall, and I'd like to share with you that I truly have a passion for nursing and I feel education is my calling. I'm a full-time school nurse and school-based health center coordinator. I also work part-time at San Juan Regional Medical Center on the surgical floor. I specialize in orthopedic and surgical post-operative nursing. I'm excited to share with you not only my duties as a school nurse, but the duties of my team and how we manage the Dr. Mate Dr. Taylor McKenzie School-Based Health Center. My lovely assistant is Ms. Beverly Nelson. Ms. Nelson has been with Navajo Prep for 14 years. She is a great assistant and will continue with her dedication to provide excellent care to your student. We appreciate her. The school-based health center is located in the Betty OJ Center, Student Center on campus. The school-based health center was established in 2003 and was dedicated as the Dr. Taylor McKenzie School-Based Health Center on April 9th of 2004. Dr. McKenzie was the first Navajo surgeon who earned his medical degree in 1958 from Baylor University College of Medicine. He dedicated 30 years of his services to public health and Indian health, as well as service to the Navajo Nation. He was vice president from 1999 to 2003. Dr. Ken McKenzie passed on April 13th of 2007, but his legacy will live on. We provide holistic care that includes physical as well as mental health for all students who provide a parental consent for our services. We also have two board certified pediatric providers from IHS. They have been involved and they're familiar with our school-based health center. Dr. Sandra Byrne has been a pediatric doctor for 10 years. She looks forward to working with your child. Dr. Jeffrey Powell is a Columbus, Ohio native. He's been a physician since 1999 and has lived in Shipwreck, New Mexico since 2002. He's also worked at the Navajo Nation Medical Center Pediatric Clinic. He too visits and provides health services through the school-based health program. Our clinic has three rooms. We have two exam rooms, as well as a cot room. We have four cots available, all fully supplied to meet your child's medical needs. The services we provide are sports physicals, illness care, prevention medications, referrals to other providers, diabetes prevention and management, injury care, nutrition counseling, immunization, laboratory tests, mental health counseling, if the student does have a provider, we will work closely with that provider to ensure continuity of care for your student. Many of our services are provided through Indian Health Services in Shiprock, as they are the closest Indian Health Service facility. The providers have held on-site clinics for, for, for sports physicals, collaborate with providers, and managing chronic illnesses of our students. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic and remote school learning, IHS is offering a telehealth clinic. It is currently available to all students 10 to 19 years old. They can call area code 505-368-7450 to schedule your health, your telehealth Zoom appointment. They can provide, they can answer health questions, healthy relationships, coping, and emotional support. Another number to contact the pediatric clinic is area code 505 368-6525. For our residential students, we work closely and train the residential advisors. Leland Vicente, the Dean of Residential Life, along with his staff of RAs, can and do provide boarding students with their medications. 
such as prescriptions, over-the-counter meds, such as acetaminophen, ibuprofen, antiacids, cough drops, and Pepto-Bismol. We discourage all students to bring any over-the-counter medications to school. All medication administered will be documented in our Magnus program. The medical administration record will keep the digital information of each dose as well as the interventions that they are provided. I'll provide more detail on Magnus later in this pr presentation. Immunizations. Why are childhood immunizations important? It is always better to prevent a disease than to treat it after it occurs. Immunities protect us from disease. Immunity is the body's way of preventing disease. The immune system recognizes germs that enter the body as foreign invaders called antigens and produces proteins called anti antibodies to fight them. Usually the immune system can't work fast enough to prevent the antigen from causing disease, so the child will get sick. However, the immune system remembers the, that antigen. If it ever enters the body again, even after many years, the immune system can produce antibodies fast enough to keep it from causing disease a second time. This protein is called immunity. Vaccines contain the same antigens or parts of the antigens that cause diseases. For example, measles, the measles vaccine contains the measles virus, but the antigens in the vaccine are either killed or weakened to the point that they don't cause the disease. However, they are strong enough to make the immune system produce antibodies that lead to immunity. A vaccine is a safer substitute for a child's first exposure to a disease. Per New Mexico law, all children enrolled in school must be immunized and they must be up to date. No shots, no records, no school. Children will not be enrolled unless an immunization record is presented and immunizations are up to date. Navajo Prep takes pride in many things. However, the biggest accomplishment is 100% of our students are accepted and are college bound. All colleges require that your students updated on their vaccines. My goal is to have all students current in their immunizations by the time they graduate. So please remember, vaccines are one of the many requirements for college applicants, so we're going to stay current. When the student is accepted to Navajo Prep, they are required, parents are required to complete the Magnus Health System. It's an electronic health record that is required for all students, both day and residential. It's a program that is available for myself, my health assistant, and the residential advisors to provide optimal care of your student. The initial setup of Magnus is time consuming and you will need to upload your student's immunization record, which is also part of the registration process. After Magnus is completed, each year, the parent or guardian will only need to electronically sign yearly consents and only update as needed. Magnus will have all your child's information from their allergies, medications to their t-shirt size. We are here to assist you with any issues that you have with the Magnus Health System and we'll provide as much guidance as we can. Mental health matters. So we have adopted this holistic view of caring for our students. Not only their medical needs will be taken care of, but we also address their mental health. We have an excellent team and resources for our students. Anthony Smith, Keisha Bial, Sam Fodder, and Leland Vicente. And we have also secured the volunteer services of Dr. Robert Sherwell, a clinical psychologist who has 40 plus years of clinical experience. As our students transition into the new environment of online slash hybrid learning, we're able to provide outstanding services and mental health. For all of our services, parental and guardian consent must be on file for the student to receive our services. Confidentiality must always be maintained to protect the student. Please see the student handbook for additional details. We also have a behavioral intervention team. The BIT team has, created, has been created to provide caring, preventative, and early in interventions with distressed individuals that need assistance. The inter interdisciplinary committee of Navajo Prep's professional staff will meet weekly or as needed. We are aware that behavior interferes with academic instructions and or the safety concerns to students, staff, or person. We receive referrals from our instructors, staff, or residential advisors. As we honestly care for your student, their overall holistic well-being is our top priority.
As I presented this to school-based health center is an asset and excellent resource for not only our students, parents, but another tool for our educators to utilize during these difficult times. Our normal clinic hours are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Fridays, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. However, the best way to reach me or my health assistant is via email. My email address is candice.deval at navajoprep.com. My health assistant's email address is bnelson at navajoprep.com. Our goal is to address the physical, mental, emotional, and social health needs for all of our students. Our office will provide health care through assessment interventions and follow up with each student participating in the school-based health center. We will promote and support every aspect of the student's needs to ensure their, they reach their academic achievements and success. Thank you for considering Navajo Prep.